My name is uh, Simone Moro, I am from Bergamo, Italy, and I'm preparing my next expedition to Everest. I had been there several times and summited four times already, but I'm going there with uh, Uli Steck and we are thinking to do something different on, on Everest. We want to explore a specific part of, of the mountain. I run between 100 and 140 kilometers per week. Uh, not because it's mandatory, but because it's important to have, let's say, an extra power in comparison to what you need there. Usually climbing 1,000 meter peaks is not so complicated technically, but is extremely hard physically. Depending from the weather and from the season, I use, for example, my personal indoor climbing wall when regularly I do rotation of dry tooling or rock climbing. I use also ways, uh, pull up, push up, so different kind of, of training. When I'm training for high altitude, the most important muscle is my heart, okay? It has to be wider, so it means I have to do long run instead of intensive run. And long run, it means half marathon, more or less every day. Because when you run intensively, you use another kind of mechanism, the lactate anaerobic. And this mechanism, it doesn't work in high altitude. Talking about the nutrition in, to one Italian guy is, is easy, okay? This is one of, of, of the good things that we have in my country. So when I talk about carbohydrates and I talk about pasta, you easily understand which kind of pasta I'm talking about. I try to avoid to combine two different kinds of food. It means carbohydrates and proteins. I prefer to eat carbohydrates and salad and vitamins in, in one meal and protein and salad in another meal. What I can say on the mountain, I never use the dry food, okay? I continue to eat like an Italian, so tortellini and salami and uh, speck, uh, kind of uh, pasta, parmesan, because in high altitude usually you refuse to eat. Everything, it, do it doesn't taste properly. You, you, have, you are not motivated to eat. So if you have your own food, even also stupid things like chocolates or candy, these things that remind you, I have to say, a, a situation where you were relaxed and you, your appetite was, was nice. So it's also psychology rules that it, it fits. When I talk about mental training, I can tell that I'm doing yoga. But if you, when, if you imagine what it means to run 100 or 140 kilometers per week, it means you are for two hours alone with yourself. This is the daily mental training that I do. So I'm thinking what I will find on the mountain. I'm running, but my mind is far from that. So sometimes I discover that I, I close my loops and I was far with my mind or was completely concentrated. It's, it's a kind of present that I give to myself every day.